And now to scares at two South Florida schools today. Police called out to Flanagan High School in Pembroke Pines and American Senior High in Northwest Miami-Dade. The all clear was given a short time later. Local 10's Hatzavela is live with the stern warning from the sheriff. Hatzel. Nicole, think about this. We're talking about two different high schools around the same time, similar incidents. And when you talk to law enforcement, they say they will not tolerate it. Here at American Senior High, they say it was an anonymous 911 call this morning. The caller alleged the school's principal had been shot, but when police showed up, they realized it was a hoax. So rad, not much. And how long were you on lockdown? Good, 10 minutes. Let's take you up to Western Broward, Sky 10 over Flanagan High School. District officials tell us the call was about weapons at the Broward Community School, which is on the same property as Flanagan. Police responded, no guns were found, and the all clear was given at around 10 a.m. While we don't know if these threatening calls were made by students, just recently we had a conversation with Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony about a new trend, threats against schools. Every single year we see a robust amount of threats coming in, but with the new legislation that was passed after Stoneman Douglas, it's a felony. We are enforcing it. On Monday, Broward's first day of school, Local 10 learned of an incident where a student brought a gun to Coconut Creek High School. This was crazy. I was really scared. Someone saw someone carrying a gun in their backpack. The school immediately placed on lockdown, and a 15-year-old student was subsequently arrested and is now facing felony charges. The bottom line is, you know, you, you can't bring one of these things to school no matter who you are. Coincidentally, today in Broward schools, if you see something, say something. This video was released featuring school board chair urging students and parents to be vigilant. And that is a message that they want to instill in students at all grade levels, certainly a reality that we live in in this world now. For now, reporting live from Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. It is just so awful. Thank you, Hatsol.